Today is uh, October uh, 14th, 2024. Uh, I want to uh, show you how to install Firefox portable application. Uh, so what is a portable application? It is a uh, self-contained uh, uh, browser in this case. But its main benefits are that in a Puppy Linux, you have save folder or save file. And particularly if you have a save file, it's uh, important that the s size of the file be as uh, small as possible. And you do that by uh, saving it in uh, s a backslash mnt backslash home uh, directory. And um, But in my case, I noticed my save folder went down to almost 2 gigs when I installed a, a Firefox portable rather than the uh, default uh, Firefox or Firefox ESR. So the only cons uh, that I can think of is this initial install is slightly larger, but uh, that uh, really uh, uh, the performance uh, is uh, uh, about the same. I haven't noticed any difference at all. And this is the file, name of the file that we will uh, download. Um, and um, that's, I have a 64-bit uh, machine, obviously, so. And where do you download? You download it here. So you go to Puppet Linux Discussion Forum Portable Apps. I'll leave a link in the description. What you want to do is on that topic, you want to go down to Mike Walsh's uh, Walsh, he is the sort of a maintainer for portable apps, and I think that this is particularly helpful. So what you want to do is get into N more, and then all these files that he has. Uh, so we want to go to uh, browsers, double click, and the Firefox double click, 64-bit. ESR is mainly uh, for uh, large companies and so on. The main line is what uh, we want, individuals. So you want to just uh, download this, and I've already done that, so we'll just go back. Let's go ahead and uh, right-click on it and go to U Extract, and. Um, We'll go ahead, this is root downloads, it's all f uh, fine, and we don't need to create anything, so. So here's the file. So after it gets extracted, we don't need the tar .xz file, so. Then we'll take a look inside, and here is the uh, uh, main file that we want to uh, put it in the correct place, but let's take a brief look. So the one of the major benefits of uh, of a portable is that uh, the program itself is within Firefox 64. Uh, so, but that's how not that's not what you want to uh, do to launch the uh, Firefox. You want to launch the Firefox uh, by clicking here. Okay. So, but we'll do that after we uh, move the uh, file to a rocks, and we're going to go to MNT and home. So here is the uh, a partition. In my case, in my home, I also have save folder with the save fo uh, within the save folder here. So. What we want to do is get back to Firefox Portable and then just make it move. We can just move it. Okay. So now we have this. And then to launch, we need to just launch here. Just for demonstration purposes, I'll just leave it out in the here. Or you can just click, click on it, obviously. So we'll just click on it. And here is the uh, Firefox. 
what you first thing you may want to do is just go to uh, help and then about Firefox and then it gives you what it wants to the later latest one is 131.02 so it gives you an opportunity to restart the, um, and update Firefox so that's what we'll do and don't show this minute and then default so here it's already working and if you happen to have a sync uh, sync uh, a, a component uh, with other uh, Firefox and perhaps in uh, other uh, computers you can go through that but here this is fully working so YouTube so it won't play because I have to sign in but uh, everything works so so now to uh, one of the easy wa ways to go ahead and uh, launch Firefox after you do this I actually also have another uh, Firefox here so I should mention that we wanna we wanna uh, up we wanna uh, d this is this is not installed through uh, ppm so and then I'll just uh, delete it Firefox and in, uh, so that's that's the old version of Firefox and furthermore I'll just delete the uh, uh, Mozilla here because configuration will all be within this uh, uh, application so now when you uh, after in what after moving the uh, portable Firefox you're gonna see there is no uh, so this is the old one so this Firefox will not uh, launch so what you need to do is m uh, add to the menu so we'll just click that and then we'll go ahead and F12 again and then internet now there is a Firefox portable so that will start there and then I've already p uh, put in the uh, uh, icon here and you can just go ahead and click and then it starts the Firefox now the uh, what you may want to do is edit the item here and say Firefox portable and then uh, perhaps you want to assign a keyboard uh, whatever you want and then I'll just make it a control 5 for now and then OK and then I'm gonna just just uh, click on control 5 see what happens it just opens it right up so this clearly works now the if you wanna do the icon change what you need to do is go to right click and Firefox portable and set icon and then you may want to just go ahead and uh, go to USR share and uh, pix maps and then go to internet I think it's the internet browser GHI internet let's see if this internet works so we'll just drop it so it works fine so the icon we quickly change the icon so if you want to so th I think that's it uh, I have it uh, if you want to use the uh, terminal what you need to do is uh, MNT uh, home and this is under so MNT home Firefox portable we'll just copy it and then we'll just insert it So we we'll the MNT home Firefox portable 
and then l a u n c h and this will so this is a, a long way of doing it by Now I booted into my F96 CE4 uh, Puppy Linux and uh, opened up the uh, dot, uh, dash mnt dash uh, a home slash I should say and also uh, uh, dot uh, slash opt folder so right now it is using Firefox here from here and what I we can do is just go ahead and delete the Firefox and then also uh, we don't because it has its own configuration with all already built in we don't really need the Mozilla uh, file here dot Mozilla uh, f uh, uh, folder so we'll just delete it okay now to use the uh, launcher, uh, the portable uh, 64, again, you can go ahead and do what I've done, uh, just drag it down here and so on, but all we, d we need to do is just go ahead and launch it. And then, uh, so here is the, uh, the Firefox. How do we verify that it is indeed the one that uh, we installed from Bionic Pup? We can just go to the uh, help and then about so this is the latest edition is all up to date so it proves that you can use the uh, same portable app in multiple uh, puppy linux applications